heart yearningly turns to his rest. Often when earth has no balm for my healing, there I find comfort and there I am blessed. Under his wings, under his wings, who from his love can save her? Under his wings, my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Under his wings, oh, what precious enjoyment, there will I hide till life's trials are o'er, sheltered, protected, no evil can harm me, resting in Jesus, I'm safe evermore. Under his wings, under his wings, who from his love can save her. Under his wings, my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Under his wings, under his wings, who from his love can save her? Under his wings, my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wings that is protected like our God Almighty. None. So we give God thanks for Sister Jenkins. Now we will open with a prayer from Brother Prince. Praise the saints. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father in the highest, we thank you for your peace. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your tender mercies. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for the good times and the bad times. We thank you for this medium. Though we may be from different countries, but you have allowed us to come and bless your holy name, my God. And most of all, we thank you for your son, which you have sent to die for our sins, my God. At this moment of time, my God, I present the service into your hands, my God. I pray for the conductor, the moderator, Savior Divine. I pray that you will inspire him, my God, that whatever he say, it may touch the life of everyone, my God. I pray for the singers that as they sing songs of praise, songs of adoration, my God, it will create gladness in our hearts, my God. I pray for the preacher in a very special way, my God. I pray that as he sings for your word, my God, that lives will be changed, my God. I pray that souls will be one, my God, and you and you only will get the glory, my God. Into your hands, I present everything, my God. I pray that when we finish this session tonight, my God, that our souls will be refreshed, my God. I pray that our souls will be rejuvenated, my God, will be revived, my God. Bless us all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise God. We will now have a reading by Sister. J. Roden, Revelation 9, 1 to 22. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. 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 Revelation 9, 1 to 22. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, 
and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates, as it were, breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots, of many horses run into battle, and they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue have his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the six angels sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousands and I heard the number of them and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths for their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt, twentieth and last. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Bless yes, the Lord. The Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Praise Bless God. We praise the Lord, saints. Here ended another portion of God's word. We give God thanks for Sister Rhoda. Now, without further ado,
Lord, brethren. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm thanking God that I can be on the meeting tonight. So I wasn't able to be on because of work. But tonight is the last night of the feast, and I come to get the crumbs that's falling from the table. That's all so, right. Yes. Yeah. So I've been I've been writing a few writings, as many of you may have known. So this is in the day of Noah that I wrote maybe about two years ago. So I'm going to read it as it is fitting for the theme of the Holy Convocation. <clears throat> Jesus speaking on the final judgment, Matthew 24, 31, 40, 37, 41, says, It will be like the days of Noah. For as the days of Noah were, so will it be the coming of the Son of Man. For in those days before the flood, we were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage, until the day Noah entered in the ark, and they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away. So too will be the coming of the Son of Man. When two will be in the field, one will be taken, one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill together, one will be taken, and the other one will be left. God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few that is eight persons were saved through water and baptism to water and baptism could be prefigured now save you and me not as a removal from dirt from our body but as an appeal to god for a good conscience through the resurrection of jesus christ which has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of god with angels and authority made subject to him, worshipping him day and night, crying, Holy, Holy. The hawk has come, the hawk has come for the animals. The ark has rooms for the animals, sorry, Genesis 6, 14. Jesus said, his father's house has many mansions, John 14, 2. The ark has one door, Genesis 6, 16. Jesus is the only door to salvation, John 10, 9. God invited Noah to come into the ark, Genesis 7, 1. And Jesus said, come to me, all ye that are weary, Matthew 11, 28. The ark was made of acacia wood, Genesis 6, 14. Just as Jesus, both man and God, a figure of acacia wood. Because God saved him, Noah, because God saved, Noah remained alive, Genesis 7.23. God gives us eternal life, John 10.18. Basically, all mankind was doomed by the flood, but God, the Redeemer, found a way to save mankind. One was found righteous, Noah. So God commanded him to build an ark to save mankind and restart creation. We were doomed to die because of sin. God sent Jesus to redeem us, to save us from calamity. God's judgment came down on the cross just as it came down on the wickedness of in Noah's time. Just as, just as there were only one ark, there is only one Jesus, by which we can be saved. Noah and his family were spared by the ark, just as the church, the call out one, is spared by the Christ. These types are referring to the theology that the Old Testament is filled with stories that shows a type of Christ that gives a kind of gospel story in a sort of allergy. allegory is sometimes called typology. The ark which saved Noah and his family from the flood is a beautiful type of Christ as the only way of salvation. As the, as the flood of God's judgment on sin came upon the earth in Noah's days, so the flood of God's judgment came against sin upon Christ at the cross. And the ark was battered, as the ark was battered by the awesomeness of the storm of the flood, and then rested on Mount Ararat. Ararat. <laughs> when the earth was covered with water for some, some times, 
Now I wanted to check to see if there was only dry land anywhere. So he sent out a dove from the ark. From the ark, the dove came back with an olive branch in her beak. Genesis eight eleven. Since that time, the olive branch was being a symbol of peace. Symbolically, the story of Noah's dove tells us God declared peace with mankind after the and persevered of wickedness. The dove representing the Holy Spirit bringing good news of reconciliation of God and man. Of course, this is only temporal reconciliation. Became lasting spiritual reconciliation with God only comes through the blood of Jesus Christ and in dying on the cross. So the Lord Jesus terrible penalty for our sins and now mean something to you. Thank you. Then why don't you Jesus Jesus is coming again. If you really love him, then why don't you serve him? Jesus is coming again. He's coming with his angels. The saints got to meet him in the air. Oh, yes, Jesus is coming again. He's repent and be baptized to wash away your sins. Cause Jesus is coming again. Oh, what a weeping. Oh, what a wailing. Jesus is coming again. Repent and be baptized. Oh, to wash away your sins. Call Jesus, Yeshua, Amashia. Is coming again. If it means something to you, then why don't you be true? Jesus is coming again. Repent and be baptized. Oh, to wash away your sins. Oh, Jesus is coming again. If it means something to you, then why don't you be true? Oh, Jesus is coming again. If you really love him, then why don't you serve him, Jesus? He's coming again. Repent and be baptized to wash away your sins. Call Jesus, Yeshua, Amashia. He's coming again. Oh, what a weeping. Oh, what a wailing. Jesus is coming again. Repent and be baptized. Oh, to wash away your sins. Oh, Jesus is coming again. Oh, what a weeping. Oh, what a wailing. Jesus is coming again. Oh, what a weeping. 
Oh, what a way he lives in Jesus. Yeshua, Yamashiach, is coming again. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. He's coming again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. God. Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. Stop me. Praise the Lord. Stop me. But God come to. Praise Amen. Lord. Praise Lord. Jesus is the winner, man, every time. No matter what the Praise devil God. will do, I try to do. Jesus is the winner, man, all the time. So we pray God. God. Praise God. the Lord. Praise the Lord. With that wonderful song, Jesus is coming back again. Amen. Now, further ado, we will have the Fletcher family to sing a chorus for us. And then after that, we will have Sister Wills with the testimony. Sister Wills, get yourself ready. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Okay, we're going to sing Lord. Um, praise the Lord. Him. Praise him. We're going to start with our first chorus will be God is good. I'm sure we all know it. So I expect to see some movement. Okay. All right. God is good. God is good. Okay. God is good to me. How can I let him down? How can I let him down? How can I let him down? He's so good to me. God is good. I can't hear you and I can't see you. God is good. Now I can see some. God is good to me. How can I let him down? How can I let him down? How can I let him down? He's so good to me. Oh, he picks me up. And he turns me around. Oh, he plants my feet on higher ground. How can I let him down? No way. How can I let him down? He's so good to me. Oh, he picks me up. And he turns me around. And he plants my feet. On higher ground, how can I let him down? No way, how can I let him down? He's so good to me. One more time, God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good to me. How can I let him down? How can I let him down? No way. How can I let him down? He's so good to me. He picks me up. Picks me up. Turns me around. And he plants my feet on higher ground. How can I let him down? How can I let him down? He's so good to me. How can I let him down? How can I let him down? How can I let him down? He's so good to me. How can I let him down? How can I let him down? How can I let him down? He's so good to me. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm happy about the next song. Okay, Sarah, you just sit. Sing, say the next song. What's called? I love that man from Galilee. Okay. I love that man from Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. He has taken all my sins and put the Holy Ghost within. I love that man, that man from Galilee. I love that man. I love you. I love from you. From Galilee. Yes, you are. For he has done so very much for me. He has taken all my sins. I let the Holy Ghost come in. I love that man. That man. 
man from Galilee. Oh, yes, I love that man from Galilee. Yes, you are my diet. For oh, he has done so very much for me. He has taken all my sins. I let the Holy Ghost come in. I love that man, that man from God. One more time now, one more. I love that man from Galilee. For oh, he has done so very much for me. He has taken all my sins. I let the Holy Ghost come in. I love that man, that man from Galilee. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. Praise Him. Wonderful, wonderful chorus from the Fletcher family. Wonderful. Keep up the good work, my sister. May God continue to bless you. And giving honor to God. Praise, Praise God. He is and always will be the head of my life. I am thanking God this morning. Since this afternoon, right now, it's afternoon. Since Friday, I've been on the line. And I'm hearing what a mighty God we serve. And every time I turn on, it's what a mighty God we serve. I was going to sing a song, but I said, no, what a mighty God we serve. Because the God that we serve is so awesome. He keeps, he saves, and he satisfies. No matter what, I'm giving him thanks. He is my provider, my way maker, my problem solver. He is the great physician. He is our all in all. And because I know he tell me to cast my cares upon him, for he careth for me. He said, no good things will he withhold from me. And at this point in life, I am thanking him for his promises, because God is not man that he should lie. And I thank God. I give him honor. I give him praise. Because that is all he asks from us is to give him praise, honor, and glory. And to him be the glory, the honor. Oh, God. God is a good God. God. And he's good all the time. 2014, May 23rd, I was admitted into the hospital to have a 16 hour surgery because I am a breast cancer survivor. I had a double mastectomy and the doctor said it's going to take 16 hours. Figure this out, who sleeps for 16 hours? But to God be the glory. God came through and he did it in eight hours. Who else? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Yes, but God. Who else? Praise God. God. Praise I have him. one sister. Thank and you, sisters. Lord. Praise and him. Sister John was there. I don't like Praise to call names. God. And Sister John did not know what was going to happen, but she know that we serve a big God. And I know my family, we all know that we serve a great, big, wonderful God. And he is a good God. He kept me. He brought me through. I had the surgery on the Friday. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Like I said, it took eight hours. And by the Monday, I was home with an eight-hour surgery, double mastectomy, and uh, um, I had a hernia in my belly button, and then they cut me right across. But to God be the glory, when I walked out of the hospital, nobody could believe I could even go up the steps to go in my house. So I give God thanks. I thank you all those who knew and prayed for me because all I needed was prayer. And I know even if it was one prayer, one sincere God. prayer, God heard and he brought me through. And I just want to say, Lord. God be the glory, great things he, is, he has done and my God is able he is able he is able and he's a mighty big wonderful God Reverend pray for me my aim is to live for the Lord pray for me while I do the same for you in Jesus name 
Praise God. Praise, praise, the, praise, Lord. praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. 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 God. Amen. Big fat, wonderful God. Praise Him. There was 10 years, and I'm thinking I'm only four months. But to God be the glory. I'm six Praise years God. and I give God thanks. Glory Praise to them. God. Thank Praise you. God. Thank Lord. you for this great opportunity. And the Lord bless you. Like the lady said, I am waiting to get the rest of the food because I am filled, but it's okay. I am eating what God has provided. In Jesus' name. Who would have thought? Who would have thought convention on Zoom? Who would have thought convention on Zoom? God be the glory. I've been blessed from Friday until now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's good to feast at Jesus' feet. Praise God. Nothing more fulfilling than to feast at Jesus' feet. Sister, we, 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 we praise God for you and we give God thanks for you with such a powerful testimony. Keep sweet and stay sweet. Praise God. We give God thanks for you, my sister. Sister Wilkes is here now. Sister Wilkes, you're ready. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is a good thing. To give thanks unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. I am one of them. Glory be to God. My testimony is. It's so long that you would take the rest of my life. To testify about the goodness of God. And I joined with the chorus. That Sister Fletcher saying God is good. And why I know he's good. Because he's good to me. Praise the Lord. Praise him. He has brought me out of a lot of situation wherein even some of my own, they give me over. But glory to God, man give me over and God take me over. Praise the Lord. Praise the and Lord. Two years ago, I was locked away for 16 weeks. 16 long weeks in hospital. I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk, I didn't know anybody. I was a life supporting machine. And praise God, every day I'm feeling better and better. Now I'm locked away for nine weeks in my house. I don't go nowhere at all. It was a night um, about five weeks ago, I went to my bed. And in the night when I wake up, I was wet like a chicken. I started sweating, as my throat and everything. And I call out to the master, Jesus. Praise and I God. ask him to deliver me. Because Praise I said, Lord, you is my only help. And I don't want to go to hospital. And I say, you is my shield. You is my hiding place. And in you, I can depend upon. And I call upon him. And before the day break, glory to God, I feel better. So I can say, God Lord. is good. Bless the Lord. Amen. I don't go anywhere. But I stay in my house. And when I sing and I shout and I testify and I glorify God, I know he's alive. And I know why I know he's alive because he lives in me. Praise the Lord. And I can recommend Lord. him. I can recommend him to anyone. Right now, I heard my sister um, testify on Sunday. She operated on 18 times. I too. I get 18 times operation. And I tell her, say, no, no, you don't. They can. When God gets ready, you can move like me. Because God is good. Hallelujah. He's Praise good to me. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. And I can tell of his love. I can tell of his mercy. I can tell of everything that he has done for me. Praise the Lord. And Praise. oh, as the song man said, no grave cannot hold my body down. Glory to God when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise. 
Praise the Lord. I too will be caught up to meet my Jesus in the air. Brethren, those who are not known the Lord, you better get right with God. Right now we are locked away. Oh, glory to God. We don't know if we will be able to go back into the building. But glory be to God, we are the church of God. And where we are, praise the Lord, we can make it. So let us continue to draw closer and closer. And I can tell you, brethren, this lockdown brings us closer and closer to him. Because many times we have people who we never get to call. But no, we can call and we can talk about the goodness of God. Who could that be but Jesus? Praise the Lord. And I know our God is able, he's a deliverer, he's a sustainer, he's a healer, he's the mighty one of Israel. Glory be to God, and we can depend upon him. Brethren, when you do hear me, do not worry about Sister Wilkes. I am feasting. I'm walking hand in hand with Jesus. And I'm just asking him to lead the way. And I know if I only be faithful to the hand, a crown of life we shall wear. Oh, glory be to God. It was nine weeks now, eight weeks now I haven't seen my grandkids. Then. Today they come outside. Oh, Praise glory the to God. They, 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 um, a hand blowing. And when I look out, I see them. It's like, again, it, was like, it was so nice to see them. And I just praise the Lord. And I couldn't go really near and give them a hug. But glory be to God, I have seen them. And I pray that God will help us, brethren, just to live for him, my God, and to be closer, drawn to him, because better days are coming. May God continue to bless us. Let us walk hand in hand with him and be faithful, be courageous, never give up. Because Jesus is coming soon. Pray Praise me up the Lord. For myself in Jesus' name. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him. 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 Bless the Lord. Wonderful testimony from Sister Pamela Hector. Amen. And wonderful testimony again from a Sister Wilt. May Amen. God continue to give you that strength and that heartfelt desire to continue in his name. No, we're going to um, go back to the Fletcher family. And then after that, we're going to have gonna get, um, hear from the family again. Um, Brother Thomas Fletcher, a greeting from him. But we go to the family with some, some choruses. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Coming back to the fit flip side now if you know the lord is keeping you if you know the lord is keeping you what you got to worry about oh if you know the lord is keeping you why don't you sing and shout glory hallelujah praise his name every day you just have to
praise the Lord. The next verse will be Daniel God surely will deliver. And in those testimonies, we can really see that he's delivering us. Daniel God surely will deliver. Daniel God surely will deliver. If you only look to him by faith, Daniel God surely will deliver. Daniel God surely will deliver. Daniel God surely will deliver. If you only look to him by faith, Daniel God. testimony popcorn testimony quick sweet so it's your time now to testify just three for now and then we go back to the steadman family and then after that again we'll have three more popcorn testimonies so if you lose out on the first three there are three more to come praise the lord brethren praise hallelujah the lord. praise god praise giving god, god thanks lord. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. Um, thank you. I was for his mighty for technology that the Lord has made it possible that I can see another convocation. God has been good to me and my family, and I thank God for all uh, the, the servants that have preached the word of God. I've been truly blessed, and I know for myself that I will not be the same. I take on board the word of God that is preached, and I pray that God will help me, that I will come up higher, live the life that is pleasing to God, that as the word that has gone forth, I will live it, and that God will bless me and strengthen me. I love the Lord, and I won't turn back, and I'm going up the kingdom. And of a truth, God is great, He's powerful, and I love Him, and I'm falling in love with God over and over and over again. Life becomes sweeter and sweeter as the day goes by. Oh, what joy with my Lord I am. So I'm falling in love with Him over and over and over again. Pray for me as I pray for you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. One more. Praise the Lord. More testimony? Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Praise Lord. You. Thanking the God of heaven for my life, sparing my life right to this very moment to be in his presence, to have the privilege of being with my brethren, to give him the praise and the glory that he deserves. And he's just wonderful. It's my determination and, you know, my resolution to just live for the Lord, no matter what, whatever situation I find myself in, whether I'm on the mountaintop, I remember, I must remember that he got me there to give him the praise, not, nothing that I've done. Whether I'm in the valley, I must remember that he's going to see me through because that too must pass. Brethren, he's just, he's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. If I can't praise him, I know that something is wrong, brethren because he's good at all times. If I can't praise him, I cry out because something is wrong. He is good, you know, he is good. And we know that we have the common enemy, you know, who is just fooling around brethren. You know, there's so many things, you know, that's made me aware just how craft he is. I don't know the full depth of him brethren, but I know enough to know that if I can't praise him, there's trouble and he's at work. So I just pray him out of my life. And recently, I mean, there's been, there's death all over the place, brethren. We hear it on the news and whatever. 
but the Lord say, fear not. But two, 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 two occurrences that, you know, really made me reflect and give God thanks. You know, one, you know, you know the late Elder B, he left, he left such a, a positive influence on me, a lovely man. And he, he was approachable and he just oozed love. You know, as far as I'm concerned, he oozed love. He was, he was very approachable. I could just go and give him a hug and just, just you know, enjoy his warmth. And, and he was wonderful. And I give God thanks for him and for the example he set. And he was a blessing to Leon, encouraging us all the way. Never, never, a, never a scrawl, never a grimace, always a smile. And that the warmth in his voice is, is just wonderful, you know, wonderful. And so I give God thanks for his life because it's a wonderful example. And I pray and believe that he's at rest. And, you know, in, that's the way we need to be. We need to, if we pass away, we pass away in Christ. And that's it, because he's the resurrection, the truth, and the life. And we fear not death. We fear not hell. We fear not the grave, because we're in Christ. Amen. And so I give God thanks for, for him, for his life, brethren. Wonderful man, wonderful man. I'm not judging, you know, but I hope, you know, that he finds true rest because I'm not here to judge, but to pray for um, all, to pray for all. And the second uh, incident, oh great God, hallelujah, Jesus. Almighty God, how oh, praise God. Yes, um, the second, the second um, report, you know, it, it's, it's sad for me, brethren, because this particular person, I won't name any names, um, our life, our lives run a certain parallel for a length of time. <clears throat> and during this period of time where it was parallel, there were good times and there were bad times. But at certain point along that timeline, we got into a state of confusion. And, you know, we, I sought the Lord and I heard his voice, basically. And the Lord took me out and I can look back with confirmation, conviction that, I was in error and the Lord pulled me out. Yes? And and if I had if I had not listened to his voice, I don't know where I would have been, brethren. I do not know where I would have been. So I give him the praise and for that, for that, for that, and many more. I could, you know, the Lord is keeping me. He woke me up this morning, but I can count on the, my hand the number of times is is delivered me from biggies, biggies, you know, you know, false doctrines or other things. But I just know that the Lord is keeping me. He saved me for a purpose. And it's my desire and determination to just go where he leads me. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's going to be rough sailing or, you, or whatever, as long as he's there with me. And, and, and I know that there's nothing that can separate me from his love. I know that the banner he has over me is love. So whatever happens, brethren, I'm just gonna give him the praise because there's praise inside of me. I won't, I won't muffle it, you know? And, and I, it's not, nothing that I've done. You know, he's the one who is working upon me. And while he's working upon him, how can I not give him the praise? Hallelujah! Praise God! Brethren, pray for me as I pray for you because it's prayer of a sincere heart that moves the Lord. May we bless him or may we follow him. May we just be obedient to his word and let it dwell richly in us and that all may be well with us, brethren. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Praise Jesus. the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise, Praise God. the Lord. Lord. I just wanna, I just wanna Amen. give God thanks. I just wanna give him praise. I just want to honor him. I just want to live for him. He's my all in all. He's my everything. He's my rock, my shield, my butler. He's my very present help in the time of trouble. It's an opportunity and it's a privilege that I could be under me that this evening. And I just want to live a life only acceptable and suitable unto him. You pray my strength as I pray your strength in Jesus' name. Jesus, 
afforded to me to be part of this zoom convocation as somebody else said who would have thought it but god thought it and we were allowed to do it i'm so happy and so blessed to have been a part of this convocation my quick testimony is this song wherever i am i'll praise him whenever i can i'll praise him for his love surrounds me like a sea Of Jesus, and lift up the name of Jesus for the name of Jesus lifted me. Wherever I am, I'll praise Him whenever I can. I'll praise Him for His love surrounds me like a sea. I'll praise the name of Jesus, lift up the name. Of Jesus, for the name of Jesus lifted me. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, him. Him. praise, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise, him. praise the Lord, brethren. Praise, him. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Giving God thanks for his love and his mercy towards me. Oh. Thanking him for the um Tonight is the last of the feast and I've been eating and enjoying, praise God. And I just want to thank you, Jesus. I just continue to praise him because he's been good to me, brethren. The Lord has been so good to me and it will take <laughs> the whole night to tell you about the love of God towards Amen. me. And I just want to just ask you, brethren, just pray for me. Let's pray one for another and ask him the Lord for my song, for my testimonies, the Lord, hold my hand while I run this race. Lord, hold my hand while I run this race. Lord, hold my hand while I run this race. I don't want to run this race. I don't want to run this race. I don't want to run this race in vain. Praise the Lord, brethren. Pray for me. Praise we the pray Lord. one for another Praise in God. Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. One more testimony. Praise the Lord, brethren. Praise Him. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Giving God thanks for sparing my life. I'll be quick. Um, just to say, like from the first of December. And two weeks prior to that, I was having some bad back pains and I was having spasms and I couldn't walk. And then the blood in my urine turned up. And you know, brother, when you see things like that, you start to worry to yourself, what is, what is going on? Worse. And went to the hospital and they did a CT scan and they found kidney stones on the left. And then they found a hernia on my right side. And I'm saying, what is going on? But God is so good, brethren. And January they still start the stone. So they said they have to operate. February 20, February 26th, when they're going to operate, the two stones gone. And I give God thanks. Praise I give the God Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Gone. <laughs> and I told the doctor, you know, you don't need to operate. And Pastor John, come and we pray. And I said, the, the stone's gone. And I said, no, we still have to go in. I said, Father, give these doctors some faith. 
Amen. That when we say it's the two, two stones gone, but then they had to fix the hernia on the right side. And brethren, when I tell you they put off the operation, put off the operation, and then all of a sudden the, the call came in. The next day you're coming in, we're going to do the operation. And that was the 20th of March, the Friday, brethren. And I tell you, when I walked in and I saw the consultant, I said, this is the man for the operation. Because I saw him before and I said, the God is with this man. The man said to me when he was when he was talking to me, I will treat you as how I would treat my own wife. Okay. And I said, yes, this yeah. is the surgeon for the job. And brethren, yes. God is good. the man that was originally scheduled, when God canceled the operation, God never wants him to do it. He had this man mm. for the job. And I give God Praise thanks. God. Praise the him. Operation Praise went God. without any problems, any issues. I was only kept in over the weekend to make certain I could walk and look after myself. But brethren, Praise even when God. I came out of hospital, I had my brethren that looked after me for three weeks straight, making me big and fat. God. Praise him. <laughs> God is good. The church of the living God is good. Amen. Praise Amen. Him. And, and brethren, I tell you, even though I was off work for nearly six months and my salary went down this month, this six months to three quarters, the two days before I got paid, God dropped money into my bank account. Brethren, Praise God. Praise the Lord. Mother, who, before Praise you call, before God. you ask, God Thank just you. When I saw the money, brethren, I was so frightened. I just put it somewhere else because I said, no, something wrong, right? <laughs> something is wrong. This money can't Praise be mine. God. I make a mistake. <laughs> brethren. Praise God. But brethren, God knew I needed it. God knew the, the, the mm. quarter salary that was there couldn't pay the bills. <laughs> brethren, I just give God Praise thanks. Praise God. And, Pray for me as I pray for you in Jesus' name. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, God. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Him. Praise God. Praise Him. 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 Praise